And here we'll go through the RPM so you guys can uh, hear the engine a bit. So uh, as you can hear, it does sound pretty good. expect from a V spec. Good times. Well how's it going JDM crew? Welcome to JDM Expo. I'm John and I'm here to tell you about this really nice R33. Uh, in a little bit you'll see that all around it's midnight purple so really nice deep purple color. Uh, it's in good condition overall just like a minor fade towards the back uh, on the trunk. Um, just a minor spot for the uh, clear coat there um, and the uh, we do have a carbon fiber wing which I'll show you in a little bit uh, unknown brand but looks good um, it looks OEM for the most part but uh, it's carbon fiber and a little bit of fading on it as well but it's what you would expect from carbon fiber that's a couple years old and overall though there's not any crazy mods with this um, a couple of body mods. We have trust side skirts. We've got uh, Nismo front and rear bumpers, stuff like that. Um, I forget the name of the company that made the exhaust, but uh, that's also a custom one. We do have an aftermarket air filter, but the, it's using the stock air box, so it, do, it doesn't look any different from stock actually, which is really cool. That's so definitely um, just a little bit better than factory performance out of this V-Spec. Yeah, it's just opened up just a tiny bit. We've got Nismo 17s all around. And yeah, just in general, really great condition. The interior is really nice. Um, I'll give you the full walk through here in just a little, but yeah, dash is in good shape. Uh, we do have this carbon fiber look pattern on the gauges here. Yeah, this one's for uh, is that oil temperature boost and um, front torque, which is if you actually use the four-wheel drive, you know, once you get a little bit of slip and it starts using the front, yeah, it'll actually register how much torque it's diverting to the front for four-wheel drive. And we've got about 149,000 kilometers on this, so still under 100,000 miles. And it just, it's really performing nicely. Um, tires still got a good bit of meat on them. And with the suspension setup, it's very comfortable. We have uh, OEM seats, OEM upholstery, so pretty much everything's still original. The only difference here would be like, I'm not sure if this was original, the little GTR logo shift knob. I'm not sure if this was standard in the V-Specs, but we got five-speed transmission, Momo Race steering wheel, um, which is pretty good shape. Um, just maybe a little minor wear on the sides here we usually hold, but all in all, still feels good, fits properly. And you might be wondering about that performance. As I said, it's just a little bit better than OEM. Uh, I had no issues going through the gears here. So uh, I'm not sure if the clutch is stock or it probably was replaced at some point because they've done plenty of maintenance on this. Uh, the previous owner took good care of this. Now I'll go into the history a little bit. If you wanna know more about that, just email our sales team, info at jdm-expo.com. They got you covered. They'll let you know a little bit more about this. And uh, we don't have the full history, but at least from the previous owner, we know a couple of things about this, which they did recharge the AC, so that's fine. It's a little bit chilly, so I'm not using it, but it do does work and uh, it's a little cool, but yeah, I'm using the heater right now, so I'm not gonna switch it over. Well, uh, we do have this WOW Auto audio deck, but I believe the speakers are OEM and we've got ETC reader, so 
And here we'll go through the RPM so you guys can uh, hear the engine a bit. So uh, as you can hear, it does sound pretty good. We did get to the next light a lot faster than expected, so that's good. Good times, good times. And you can hear that thing's opened up really well. It's just absolutely stunning. Okay guys, it changed, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so when it comes to the electronics and anything, not, not too crazy, we got a couple of LED lights and I believe they upgraded the HIDs here. Um, yep. Yeah, that was upgraded as well. I could see the reflection off the cars in front of me, so uh, a little too early for that, but all in all, real nice. Well, uh, let's have a walk around here. Uh, we'll just fast forward to that, and you guys can see uh, just how nice the exterior is and check the engine bay and everything like that. Let's go. All right, and looking through the interior here, you can see nice, genuine skyline. Floor mats. The interior's pretty nice actually. We got the decent, well, actually, it's more than decent. It's really good condition uh, dash here. Oops, sorry, I'm just trying to get a view there for you so you guys can see. No cracks. The uh, center console and all this other stuff is actually in good shape. You can see the cluster here 149. And so, yeah, in general, everything's in really good shape, not cracked. Um, just a, maybe just a little minor wear on this Momo steering wheel. It's the race steering wheel. Got that GTR shift knob. Handbrake. As you can see, the upholstery is in really good shape. Uh, just has a little bit of wear, but I mean, it just, it means it's actually been sat in. <laughs> the uh, door panel's looking pretty good here. And the uh, headliner there, it's in good shape. Not sagging, nothing crazy. They changed some of these to LEDs. These ones are regular. So overall, it's pretty, pretty comfortable. We do have the Electronic toll card reader, yay! So if you're in Japan, this will definitely be a benefit to you. If not, yeah, uh, I guess you can take it out later. Driver seats looking in good shape here. And the interior, yeah, all around nice and clean. No excessive wear or any rips on the upholstery, so it's mighty fine. And uh, by the way, this WOW Auto audio deck does have an LCD screen. Actually, let me... It should pop up there in a second. And it does have Bluetooth capability, aux and all that other good stuff. So you do have all sorts of different things in there. I think they have the little Navi button and all that, but let's turn that off for now. And USB connections and all that so uh, even outside of Japan it'll still be useful I'll just uh, check the trunk here real quick we'll have a full walk around in just a second you can see that carbon fiber wing genuine carbon fiber by the way so it is showing a little fade but all in all pretty nice Especially for a V-Spec. Woo! V-Spec. It's the real deal. And decent condition rear here. Just a little bit of sag in the uh, covering here, but nothing too crazy. As you can see, it's just that little like, cheaper cardboard or little paneling there. And the doesn't look used either. Spare tire, tools are on the side, and of course you have access to the, uh, is that the ECSS fluid or something? 
it's all here. Battery's right behind this panel, so. And that rear strut bar, OEM. You will notice you have a uh, pretty nice exhaust there. A lot of flow, has a nice rumble to it. So uh, just like in the driving portion, you can hear it a bit. Not sure if the mic picks it up real well, but I think it's loud enough you can hear it. All right, we'll have a quick look under the hood here. And uh, just so you guys know, um, well, if you uh, see uh, right there, we have the numbers here. Whoops, let me uh, There you go. So you'll find that this was manufactured in April of, oops. So this was manufactured in April of 95 and uh, pretty in good shape actually. They did all the maintenance. Uh, we do have some information from the previous owner which uh, they do say that the mileage as far as they know is accurate since they had it for a while as well. Um, there was one other owner um, technically it's registered under three owners because of the dealership uh, previously had it registered to them so that's what's on there so officially two that we know of they took good care of this actually uh, so the AC was recharged about two years ago they said it's doing pretty well and uh, I mean as you can see it's mostly OEM components here um, the exhaust I believe is uh aftermarket but it kind of looks more like the nismo or kind of like those more silent or not really silent more sleeper type ones so not too noticeable but as you can see even from this it's just not too many other mods we got some hids and things like that so just some you know tasteful upgrades nothing too crazy i mean uh, it's v-spec so performs really well And here we'll just have a full walk around, have a closer look, and uh, for, as far as I can check, uh, let's see here, from the list that they gave me, let me just double check through here. Yeah, so we do have the Nismo front bumper and front lip. We've got uh, Trust side skirts there. We got the unknown brand carbon fiber wing on the back, but you know, it's definitely carbon. You got the Nismo wheels here. Okay, so they do have a HKS air filter and let's see here, rear muffler is from Barnacle, so definitely aftermarket. But as you can see, it's not too noticeable, so really good stuff. And yeah, as far as we know, the previous owner was from Tokyo and so it doesn't really get too cold there and they did specifically say in the notes that we got from them that they were uh, careful not to go out in the winter time. They didn't want to get salt on this, so the underbody and everything's in really good shape because of that. So that's really awesome to know. As you can see uh, behind this plate, it says Nismo on the front mount intercooler. So yeah, for the most part, like the Nismo Ray wheels, which are uh, 17s, and uh, what is this? The uh, suspension is from Final Connection, so. So definitely a lot of little upgrades that keep everything running real nice. Well, there you have it, crew. Get them all they're hot, R33s. I was kind of shocked that the prices are actually already starting to jump, but um, there are good condition ones out there. There are decent mileage ones, so be on the lookout. And uh, if you need some help, definitely, if you want to know more about this or any other vehicles or need some help finding one, contact our sales team info at jdm-expo.com send them an email or you can direct message us on facebook instagram or twitter uh, all those messages will go to our sales team so um, i don't know how long this one's gonna last since we just got it and we've been getting a lot of inquiries so definitely just check with them and uh, they can let you know more about this i was pretty surprised by the history and uh, we, did, we did get another r33 that i'll be doing a video on later so uh 
<laughs> yeah, we're, we're definitely getting them in. And a lot of you guys have been asking about different ones. So uh, this Midnight Purple, and we got one other one in recently too. So uh, that video is soon to follow. And there's a couple of other R33s that I uh, think some of you guys that have been following our Instagram have seen as well. So we did get that and uh, more to follow. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content. Hit up our other videos if you're interested in any other JDM classics. And uh, yeah, this one, as you can see, that was really comfortable to drive and uh, really great condition overall. Like just, yeah, they took good care of it and it's definitely a pleasure. Well. Catch you in the next video, guys. Take care.